Today I have something a bit specific. I have a environment that I need to use the SharePoint list because um, what I really need to use is actually a specific Excel spreadsheet. And to do so, my client is saying that we need to use this Excel spreadsheet because he has some data to be inputted and then they will process it whatsoever. And you know how it is. Sometimes it's easier to do your own workaround to adopt an existing workflow so that everybody's happy, but then your life will be made easier using automation. So let's have a look. This is uh, what I've done. So I have a booking page where my users can actually book a certain time in a day that I'm available. And I'm going to be able to select the time. So maybe doing certain different time zone, by the way. So booking is great for that. You can just select the time zone you have. It's your own time zone by default. But if you are traveling because you're on holiday whatsoever, you can go back to your own time zone. So that's great. So you would select the time you want, enter your detail. You can ask some questions. So for instance, I'm saying like, well, the user will be saying they want to complete something with me, etc. And then they click book. Now this is where the first magic happened. I have a flow that is creating an item in a SharePoint list. Why do I use the SharePoint list? Because my SharePoint list is used as an intermediate to store all the data that will then be used somewhere else, like Excel, like other things, like Power BI maybe. So I have data here. So first I can just edit it and maybe modify things. So for instance, this is a text. You can imagine because it comes from booking it's just a text and i can't really make it match straight away so what i do is that i could just select it start typing in my organization address book and then you will find it in the in the list so then it will be findable and i can email this person using another workflow so by changing the status here i could say send invite and then I would double check, double send an invite in addition to booking. I could just define that this user hasn't turned up. So I could say cancel no show and then it would send a different email. So think of a few automation you may need to do and you can have a power automate behind it. For instance, at the end of uh, every individual consultation, I can just click here and it sends a request to fill in a feedback form. Very simple. Yeah, another automation I could do is that I am going to, as I said, I'm kind of, I have to write into an Excel file that is specific with some columns that are really important for the business. So I don't want to do that manually anymore. So I have added the variable here. Every time I just have to enter, like copy and paste the variable, the name, and then I would say like, yep. Yeah, I want you to write into my Excel. And again, as soon as I click outside, it will start saving my item, kick off a Power Automate, which is then going to go and write into Excel. Let's have a look at Excel. So this is my very specific file that I have to enter. And it's half in French, so it's just specific. Sometimes we, we don't have choice. And uh, within a few seconds, sometimes minutes, but it's going to come here. So as number, row number five, it will start adding my data from SharePoint list. Okay, so here we wait a little bit more. Okay, just came, that's it. So all this has been added cell by cell almost through Power Automate. And uh, yeah, the point is that my uh, manager over there is going to have the report. They will be able to do their own processing, etc. But for me, First, I'll be able to use the SharePoint list as a just simple way of seeing all my participants to the session by month, by year, by status. Did they come? Did they cancel, etc. And also, very easy. <laughs> I'm saying easy. It used to be much more. Now we can just show it in Power BI and very simply have graph of like all your attendees, all your sessions where they filled over the year, etc. So anyway, that was just in a few minutes, a description of a typical workflow, how I would go from a specific 
requirement. It has to be in a certain format, in a certain way. The business doesn't want to change this. Fine. I can just do that. I can just make you happy. But then I will use modern ways of doing reporting and uh, vi data visualization. All this using Power Automate in the middle. All right. I hope it was useful. If it is, just let me know in the comments. Thank you.